in this lesson we're going to jump back in where we left off and <coughs> continue the blocking of our car and um, we should be able to go ahead and get the uh, the main blocking of our car done here um, but like I said it, it it doesn't take that much time um, the main part of the car obviously is no matter what you do going to take at least a little while um, if you do it right it it should probably take you about an hour um, and, and and that's on all cars because cars are very very technical um, in a lot of cases they're a lot more complex than you know some characters or some character or to that you will tend to get as a modeler, um, especially when you're looking at cars that are, you know, like the Audi R8 um, or even the Audi TT. Um, those kinds of cars are really complex, and you know, they really are pieces of art because it's just the way that they're built and the way that they're manufactured. It's just it's unbelievable. Um, there's a lot of detail that goes into them. Um, and there's a lot of effort that goes into them, so um, it, it really is going to be um, somewhat time-consuming to to go ahead and model a car. Um, no matter what you do, it's it's really going to take a little bit of time to to get that block in right where you want it. So um, just go ahead and put your effort in and and try and match the the concept as much as you possibly can. And as you can see, I'm you know just extruding an edge um, trying to line it up properly always merging verts trying to keep it as much quads as as I possibly can and and just going from there there's really you know no secret to it you just you really want to try to match it, the underlying concept or um, your blueprints as much as possible And sometimes you might actually have to, uh, especially in this case, change the, the car model a little bit to actually fit the style um, prop properly. And, and that's simply because some things on the concept just don't work in, in CG or in 3D. Um, sometimes the way that they're drawn, just it just doesn't work. Um, and, and that goes with the concept artist you know even though it's an awesome piece of art and it's an awesome concept sometimes they just don't match and sometimes you have to change things to to make the card look the way it should And as you can see, I'm always in, in constantly pushing and, and pulling verts and, and adjusting verts to try and um, get ourselves a, a decent car and, and <coughs> try and block in the cars uh, as well as I can because if, if you don't have a, a great base of the car, um, your eventual end result just isn't going to be the way that it should be and the goal here is to to really give yourself a a great base for ed any model that you do any model that you do whether it be a car or, or whether it be a character product whatever you just really want to have a, a really great base um, when you're modeling anything and as you can see anytime that I um, extrude an edge I you know try to match that edge with another edge so that I can merge the farts and and keep the geometry as uh, as quad geometry as possible
because this this will if you you know were able to to do it all quads or 100 percent quads it's just going to make your um your cuts easier whenever you go to you know cut things out like the door and uh, the windows, the headlights, the taillights, and, and whatever else that's actually on the car. As you can see, when you know, um, I'm you know pushing and adjusting verts. I always try to uh, make sure I have the geometry laid out properly, so that um, I can actually, when I go to cut our doors out or you know cut our headlights and whatever else out, it's just going to be real easy to to go ahead and select faces and make our cuts from there. You also want to, you know, at least try to have your edges be as um, as smooth as you possibly can. Um, but when when I model a car, you'll see in a later lesson that I will actually take the the base of the car into ZBrush to to smooth out any, out any imperfections that I have, and, and that's that gets some sometimes a little complicated because the more you smooth the smaller the car is going to get and then you whenever you come back to Maya you basically have to adjust those verts to to try and match the concept again and you want to be really careful and I'll, um, I'll talk you through that whenever I do it in, uh, in ZBrush in a later lesson but for right now I you know am just continuing the uh, the block out of the car here um, trying to cut the, cut out the wheel well now or trying to block in where the wheel well would be and, uh, you know I basically try to use all the tools that Maya has to offer and, and that way it sort of speeds up the process and it just makes it a little bit easier to to go ahead and get the base of the car done As you can see, anytime I extrude, I you know try to match the, try to snap the verts to each other so that it's you know laid out properly and um, so that we have the the right amount of layout. So that we have the layout proper because if you don't have the layout proper, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna work. So um, just try to you know basically get our geometry the to look the way that, that I want it to look. And as you can see, there's still some some imperfection in the model here, um, and in the layout. And you know, this just takes a little bit of time to to get it laid out properly, and you know, get it laid out correctly. But overall, it's really starting to you know look like a car model here.
and I'm definitely trying to uh, match the edge flow as, as much as I possibly can. Basically start off with a block out and then you, you know, try to just basically close all the holes. Is, you know, really what I'm, you know, doing here. And it's just, you know, extrude an edge, merge the varts. Extrude an edge, merge the varts. As you can see, we have something that looks somewhat like a car right now. Um, it's slowly getting there. It's just, you know, adjust verts, adjust verts, adjust verts. That's basically all it is. And as you can see, I'm not going 100% off the concept. Um, yeah, I'm trying to um, match the concept as much as I possibly can, but you don't see me really adjusting the, the verts a lot. And um, in the side view or in the front view, and this is because those concept images don't match 100%. <coughs> and, and sometimes that's where a lot of people, when you know they model a car, it, it tends to give them a headache because if those images don't match 100%, when you go to um, move farts or um, adjust farts whether it be in the side window or side window or uh, in the front window it's just not going to look the same when you adjust one in one window or adjust one in another window it, it's just going to basically be counterproductive or um, just going to basically give you a headache and so I tend to do a lot of my adjusting in the in the viewport or in the perspective viewport and this is because uh, if I moved it in, in the front window and it doesn't match in the side window it's just gonna cause a lot of problems and so I do this in the in the perspective viewport because I can really control exactly what I'm doing because that's ultimately where the car is being modeled and so um, I tend to do a lot of this inside of the inside of the perspective viewport and as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and basically try to uh, block in our roof now but it's you know it's already starting to look like the shell of a car and so um, right off the bat we're you know pretty much doing a, a decent job of, of modeling our, our car but as you can see here there's going to be a, um, a little bit of mesh combining um, from the front and the back here and that's just because of the edge flow um, and it just takes a little bit of time to, to get that edge flow you know proper and um, laid out correctly And as you can see there, I mean, it, it looks, you know, somewhat like a car. Um, it's not 100% car ready yet. I mean, it just, yeah, it just takes a little bit of, a little bit of effort. Um, definitely a lot of adjustment to, 
to go ahead and get our car done um, properly and it, it just you know a little bit of patience you just have to continue to work at it and work at it and work at it and work at it and it, eventually you'll get there um, this probably isn't the process for everybody um, this is you know a lot of the way that I tend to do it because I just have gotten into the routine of doing it this way and it's just a lot easier for me to do it this way and as you can see the edge flow here on the back probably isn't um, 100% the, the best way but you know I can go ahead and fix that and in a little bit later lesson and, and we will and um, you'll see where I have to you know sort of edit the geometry just a smidge more um, to make it match a hundred percent and that's just me I'm big in terms of I'm um, having a really really great base in terms of our character uh, you know whether it be our character or whether it be our vehicle I really try to to match it you know as, as as much as I can or try to you know get it to lay be laid out as as well as I possibly can because that that just goes with you know having a really great base if you don't have a great base it's just not gonna you know give me an eventual end result that's actually gonna be good it's basically gonna be um, somewhat junky so um, and still blocky whenever you go to render it and so you really wanna you know have a really really fantastic base of any model that you do and that's huge I mean that, that's an extremely important part of the modeling process you really want to have a really great layout really great layout if, if you don't have a great layout you might as well just not model anything it's so vital to have a a great base of any model that you do because it, it just makes you know every process of doing something that much easier um, whether it be ZBrush uh, whether it be Maya um, texturing, rendering, sculpting, whatever it, it's just you really want to have a you know a fantastic base I mean, the analogy that I would use is, is basically like the Wizard of Oz. Um, the base of the house was picked up in the tornado and, and flown everywhere. But if you have a great base, you know, typically the house wouldn't have gone anywhere. So, I if you have a great base of any model that you do, your eventual end result's going to be, you know, really fantastic. I just hope that you guys all would, um, enjoy the tutorial and uh, learn a lot from it. Well, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know try and get our edges to to line up properly here and and, and merge the the vehicle so that I can uh, continue to keep the car as uh, as good as possible. And you'll see me, you know, I'll mirror the geometry a lot, and, and this is because I really want to try to um, get the car laid out as, as properly as I can. Because it's not just, you know, good enough to look at one side, you need to, to basically look at the entire model to get an accurate representation of what's going on.